to Creative Tuesdays with Liz. I am very excited to be here again um, as we are coming into this week leading up to Easter. And I always look forward to this time that we just come together and create. And um, it's something that I just enjoy. I just really love to create and make things. And I hope that you guys do too. And most of all, I hope that you have fun with these projects and that um, you're just really enjoying the process of going throughout it instead of thinking about what it's going to look like when you're finished in the end and everything. But today, we will be making something for Easter. You'll need some plain paper, coloring utensils, that can be colored pencils, crayons, markers, watercolor if you want to use it. Um, and you'll need some colored construction paper. I will have a bunny template provided for you. Um, so that's provided and you can use that to cut out your bunny frame shape from your construction paper if you want to. Or you could draw your own bunny shape frame to cut. And um, this is optional. If you wanted to, you could collage your paper with some newsprint or pictures from magazines. Um, if you had a bunch of stickers, you could fill your paper up with stickers. Um, so we will go ahead and get started. But your plain paper, this is what is going to be your background piece. And then you'll have your construction paper, and this will be what you're going to cut your bunny frame out of. So your, your background paper that will be kind of what you see through your frame. You can, like I said, use newsprint to cover it, cover your paper with newsprint. You could just draw different lines and designs all over it. You could... Um, glue buttons or fabric all over it. Of course, if you use buttons, it would need to be um, probably a piece of cardboard instead of just a plain piece of paper. But um, anything, I, any way that you can think of that you want to cover your paper, you can do it. Um, so anything, if you need to pause the video at any time to um, finish gathering supplies or materials or if you need a drink of water or need to go to the restroom, just anything, um, feel free to pause it at any time and then you can come back and press play um, whenever you're ready again. So, But our plain piece. Um, this, I have used um, a black pen, black markers, and I just kind of did some scribble lines and so that I'd have different sections on my paper. And the different sections, I'm kind of using just a, a black pen to go in and create a different design in each of the sections. And I'm using a thin one, a thick one, just to give the paper, um, just to give our artwork a little bit of variety and everything so um, you can do that but any way that you want to fill up your paper you can fill up your paper however you choose um, there is no right or wrong um, I just really really want you to enjoy this and I do realize that some people might not like creating and making things and that's okay or if you create something and you don't really want to show anybody that's fine I hope that you just at least enjoy making it um, but if you would like to show people um, please share it with us you can take a picture of your artwork and post it on social media and tag us the Lancaster County Council of the arts in it and uh, so that we can see uh, what you're working on and the art that you've created that we've kind of done as we come together and everything so yeah I'm just gonna keep doing some different little designs in here some wavy lines and straight lines So yeah, but anyway, like I said, if you want to just color all over your paper um, and just fill your paper up with different lines and designs of colors and crayons or paint, um, any way that you wanted to do this. 
There are endless possibilities for how you can fill your paper. You could just write the letter for your name. Um, like if your name is starts with an L, you could write L's in different color all over your paper and practice doing that. Or you could, you know, write your whole name. You could fill it up. This, there is any number of things that you can do to fill up your paper. Yeah, I'll keep putting some little squiggles on here. We'll just get it filled up. Now I am going to take a break from this just to kind of walk you through the next step of moving on. Um, if you chose to uh, use the bunny template that I provided, you can print that out and trace it on whatever colored piece of construction paper or whatever color that you choose that you like. So feel free to trace that out um, or you could draw your own bunny shape. Um, you are more than welcome to do that as well. So when we get ready to cut it out, since we're going to be using the frame, um, we're going to very, very carefully open our scissors, or if you have an X-Acto knife or somebody near you is able to use an X-Acto knife to cut it out, you can use that. Um, but if you need to also, you can just take the tip of your scissors and put your finger on the back of your paper and very carefully give it a little twist so that you've created a hole there. And then you can just put your scissors in the hole and you can finish cutting out your frame shape. I think these look really neat, um, especially for Easter. Or you could even create one of these for everybody in your family. And you could have a um, little, you know, a bunny character that represents each person in your family if you wanted to. Um, or you could do just one. You can do this any way that you want to. But I think they turn out really cute. And you may even want to, something I, I thought about right before this, is um, if you have any cotton balls, you might want to get some cotton balls out, and then you could put a little uh, cotton tail on your bunny rabbit uh, art, your Easter art. So there we go. We've got our whole frame here. And I'm going to just do this over the one that I did in newsprint. So you will get your glue. You will rub glue on the back of the frame. All around it there. <laughs> My paper I noticed right before I started, or when I did start to trace on it, it had some tears already in it. Um, like it was underneath something else that had been cut, so I taped it together on the back side. <laughs> and you won't even be able to tell it on the front. It'll still be just fine. So see, you can always problem solve and come up with a solution for something. So don't ever get stressed out or worried. Uh, more than likely, you will be able to come up with a solution for your problem. So I will take that and I'm just going to lay it on top of my newsprint piece. Smooth that out really good. And here is my newsprint bunny that I made. 
And if, you, like I said, if you wanted to, you could get a cotton ball, piece of a cotton ball. You could, and cotton balls you can pull apart. You can make them thick, thin, however you want to do it. And we'll just glue a little cotton ball right on the back side of the bunny here. It's kind of like we see his back side. He's getting ready to hop away. And there you go. So this is one way to do it. Um, you could do it this way. Uh, even if, you know, even if you did, if you were able to save this, the piece that you cut out, and I'll just go back around and I'll just cut off that off right off the bottom where I poked my scissors through and made a hole. And you can even create something with this. You had another one. Um, so like I'll take this one that I did colored in and you can glue that on top of there on that piece. We'll glue that piece down. So see, you can use all the pieces of your art. Don't don't feel like that you've, you know, wasted any or even if you did and you want and you threw this away, that's okay too. That is all right. Yeah, so you can use that if you wanted to. You could write Happy Easter on it. Um, anything that you wanted to do. Or if you wanted to draw a face on your bunny, you could do that and everything. But I hope that you have really enjoyed today and um, that it's just been fun. And hope I hope everyone's just felt good that spring's coming closer and we're getting ready for Easter and and spring is just a good time to kind of start a new, just kind of a fresh beginning um, to where we can start over and you know go through and the leaves are starting to come back on the trees and the grass is looking green on the ground now um, so I hope everybody's just enjoying the little things around you that's going on Next week, we will come together and create an open box artwork. Um, this is really, really super cool. I happened to see this um, picture hanging up in one of the schools that I visit. And um, the art teacher at this school at Kershaw Elementary is Stephanie Trusdell. So I kind of saw this that she had done with some of her classes and I just thought it looked so great. So I thought, oh yeah, we can, we can do this too. But um, so we'll have like an open box picture. You will need um, construction paper. You'll need especially a brown piece of construction paper. Um, other colors of paper. You'll need scissors, glue, um, if you wanted to use some scrapbook paper or some newsprint, you can do that. And I will have a box template for you drawn that you can um, print out and trace or print on brown construction paper and everything so that it can be your box, your open box. Um, but I really look forward to next week as we come together and create our open box. Um, it's going to be really fun. I hope that you'll enjoy it and it'll turn out looking really good. And I do hope that everybody has a wonderful, happy Easter and that you are enjoying your new beginnings. I'll see you next week. Bye.